What's going on guys here with another vlog today I'll be vlogging about the KDL 5 bx 20 and you guys know about the CV if you don't really know just go to back of my old videos so this is the KDL 5 bx 20 blinking four times now it stopped the motherboard is dead main board is dead now the reason I got like motherboard and then main board main board means that is the thing that works the most so right here if we go right in this corner that's the main board and this uh, this helps your speakers your teak on board it helps your everything it it works daily 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 works now you can see the inventor board that inventor board works and everything in the tv works it's shining a light everything is working but the main board is cutting cutting so it's not giving any speaker some good voice Speaker, nope, it's not giving any speaker good things. And if you go through the other things, like we go like different, like if it's like 14 times blinking, 15 times, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, or like 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0, where it's gonna work in the zero part though. And I want to show you some methods what you can do to specifically get your TV fired up. Now, this just needs the main board, but it's off, so I'm going to show you what to do. So, the first thing you want to do is go to the main board, which is right in the back of the TV. Unplug everything. Unplug it. Okay? Take out your power cord and put it back in after one minute. One minute. Put a stopwatch or something, but count to one minute. After that, plug in the wire, turn it on, turn on your TV, and it should turn on and everything which should work. Now, if that method did not work, we'll go to the second method, which is unplugging everything, and then you hold two buttons. Now, you guys probably know about this button stuff that I've been talking about like most daily times, but you just need a one finger on the power button and one finger on the volume button now after you're pressing those just hold them and give it maybe a helper to actually go and press the next button for you so i'm holding okay i'm holding two but um as you guys speak um when you guys do the thing um, make sure you do it properly and you get five seven attempts now six time blinking you need to go a bit deep every blink you go a bit deeper so the deep method is that on your control you can see these colors I'm gonna if you can see that I'm gonna put on the lighting as much as I can but those colors and you just want to hold red and green if you don't have red and green just use red yellow or blue but use the very first two buttons this is out of home made okay so you're gonna hold those two buttons oh my brand is so low i mean so high now okay now you're holding those two buttons now what you're gonna do is go to your power thing and take out the cord okay and then you're gonna hold the two buttons and make sure you have a third person and then what that person gonna do is gonna go to the main board and he's gonna unplug and outplug and unplug and outplug that's what he's gonna do so you're holding the two buttons you're pressing the two buttons and the third person just puts in the thing and the someone's making that thing you come out and then once you put in the wire, make sure the other wire is not connected. Just leave everything until you see the Sony startup menu and then everything should guide you to where you need to be. Now, if does that not work, th that does not work. You need to go and go, just go to your local advanced part, auto parts and just go to them and tell them that my TV is not working. Okay, you just want to tell them that and then just walk off. Okay, 
after saying that, you want to give them more explanations what your team is wrong. Like, what is the modern number? What is the serial number? You want to give deep. But now, you don't want someone like you don't know a stranger and you're like, hello, my serial number is this. Can you fix my TV? And then he's like, no. So you don't want to give your information to pretty much everyone. You want to keep it to yourself, give it to the person that's fixing your TV, or they can just find it from behind the TV, which is probably good. Or if they don't know, you can just tell them in the model number behind this. And once they check and they tell you, and these people around, sometimes they make you dumb and charge you $800. Now this TV just needs a new main board, so that's the pretty much the one problem that was. I know for a fact that this TV blinked four times. I know this backlight works. I know the LED strips work. I know everything works except for the main board. Now the main board is located for me right now. It's in the left side of the chassis. But when you go flip the TV around, it's gonna be in the right side of the chassis. Now, to replace the main board, you can just go and shop in shopjimmy.com. You guys know that place. I already told you guys, like, so many times of it, like I showed you in my last video. But there, you just want to go and get a new, sort of, new part. Just get a small part, okay? Make sure it's brand new or something or used. Exact model, though. Exact model. Okay? Now put that in to your TV, and if does that if that does not work, no, you're in safe hands. And trust me, you can just do that. But if does that not work, what you can do is go to the all the boards, just replace it. The power supply board is two hundred bucks. The thing that's the inventor board is thirty two dollars. The one that's on the top right corner is $32. The one t con board is $48. Now, if you want, if you want, you can go ahead and buy a $1,500 TV. You might get new functions and stuff, but I prefer to stick to the old one because you can get more explore and just stay. But if you need a need, need TV, like your main one broke or something, Keep it to yourself. Just keep working on it. But just go ahead and buy a new TV. Just use that. And then once that getting used, maybe you can fix your old TV and then start running that. Now, the methods that I told you here was actually juicing up the thing. Now, when I told you to press these two buttons, they were actually working. Make sure you do have batteries. Now, the third method, I'm going to tell you any method, is that... Some method, some you guys have remote, and some of you guys don't have remotes, which is absolutely okay with me and you. Nothing is wrong. You just need to go and buy a new remote if you want. You don't need to have a remote, but when you get a new TV, it'll come with it. But I mean, when you get your old TV, when you got your TV, it should come with it. And maybe you broke it. Just go to shopjimmy.com buy it. But you don't need 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 this remote for this specification thingy you don't need it for the things that i told you in this video okay so i was telling you red and blue right instead of that what you could have done if you don't have the control just go to the main board now you're probably asking what do i do on the main board now you can see some two holes and it's a red and a green just press on it real tight and then someone do the unplug stuff and stuff and maybe your tv should start and fire up now the reason we're pushing the main board is we're creating force we're pushing pushing any axis going through and it will probably work now i seen this one guy he jams his thing and shakes it so much that the tv actually starts working but you want to be braver than that what you want to do is if that method did not go on to the next method and then you keep exploring exploring and find out that this part is ruined and it's not gonna work now if you get your tv on that's great news just leave it on for a day and you want to just see 
everything in the behind getting hot. Now the hot stuff, hot things getting, they are good. They are getting hot. That is good. But it because my IR processor does not get hot anymore. It's not working. Um, it's supposed to be hot, and it doesn't even get hot anymore. And you can see from like far, you can't see some pixels, but when you go to back here, show you really cool. You can see some pixels over there. And then when you get your real eyes on it, you can see some little pixels. Now this is an LCD TV. So some people want to upgrade to an OLED. Now if you do want to upgrade to something, now let's get rid of the old one no it doesn't get rid of it just forget about it you don't need attention just get a new like tv but i don't like to get new stuff i don't know why i have a habit but what you want to do when you get a new tv first you set it up set up everything but do not use it straight away don't use it for a day okay in the second day open it up use the tv but first you want to update an iOS version, okay? A version of the TV Sony OS. You just want to update that and just, just keep your controller up to date. And you just want it fixed. You want your controls fixed. And if one, so I have my whole TV and my one remote button is not working. I send it to the good guys or whatever your local part store. Hey, this, I got the brand new TV and this remote came with it today, yesterday. Here's the receipt. This is not working. Give me a new remote. I am not paying for anything, but, and then just go. That's it. Because, and they will test. The, or you can just bring some people to your house, like them, so they, sometimes they like it, um, show proof. So maybe you have a record video, but yeah, sometimes you don't, so. You gotta keep that in mind, okay? But what you wanna do is when you do a falsification on a TV, when you try some methods and the method is not working, you find out something is wrong, you can just replace it. Just replace one piece of the TV. Now, after that, when the one piece is replaced, now it's gonna grow bigger. So what is gonna happen? You fix your TV, now it's gonna work for probably like seven more years and then another problem will enter maybe your power supply board replace it and then never seven years you replace that seven years seven and then it just continues but one day one day one day your tv will get busted like everything will stop working so now what you do is get a brand new backlight Get a brand new main board, everything of that. Sell your old one. Just just go to eBay and say this is working, blah, 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 and just get a new one. Just get it. You don't want to pay that extra cash for a new one. And, yeah. So, I'm going to dig it out. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. But, um, okay, as I was saying, remove the TV, you guys know. And now it doesn't blink, and you guys know it doesn't even power look. I'll show you about the power thing. Some oh, I can't anymore. It's just cool. I need there, but it will work. Now the reason we bought this TV was, um, when we went to the shop, we saw this TV giving the best colors ever. It was giving the best colors. Then my mom's like, Sony has the best colors. You should get it. And some of you guys probably have this open. And guys, I turned this video too long. But anyways, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.